So in this video I'm going to talk about functions in Python and you know I want to try and explain how they're really really important in Python and you know why there's such a good way of being able to organize your code especially if you have lots of code in your program and you know there's a few sections that are doing sort of different things and it's a really good way of organizing those sorts of what's called blocks of code you know little sections of code might be one line on there might be you know 10 or 20 or you know 100,000 lines but you know a block of code tends to just do sort of one little uh, function which is why you know the name functions came about so uh, you create a function to put that code inside of to keep it organized and easily accessible so I'm going to show you what that looks like in Python right now so let's get into it and create a new file and I'm going to save that file and call it functions and I'll save that in my Python Basics folder. And let's create a new function which I define uh, using the keyword def. So, you know, the function definition, in other words. So let's just do add. And I'm going to say uh, return um, to add three. So, very simple. It's just going to. Uh, run the code inside of it whenever the function is called and it's going to return a value so in other words it's going to return something to wherever it was called from in in a sense i hope that makes sense but i'm going to write a couple more functions just so that i can sort of hopefully illustrate this a bit better so i'm going to do multiply and i'm going to return a value of uh, 2 times 3. And then let's do a uh, cubed a cube function and all that's going to do is do uh, return uh, let's do 2 raised to the power of 3. So if you haven't seen the video where I talked about operators uh, the asterisk is used for times in Python, and if you remember where you see two asterisks is put together, that means uh, you know take two and raise it to the power of three. So let's go ahead and run this and save it. Ah, so we get nothing. But why is this? So it's completely expected from the program that we've written to not get any output whatsoever, and you'll notice that. You know, there's a few new things that we haven't covered yet. So, you know, this return keyword is sort of new. Um, it's basically just saying, uh, you know, whenever the function is called, it is going to return the, the value of, in this case, 2 plus 3. But, you know, it doesn't show that here. So, because we've already run the program, because it says restarted functions.py, Let's see if we can call the function. So the way we do that in Python is we just type the name of the function. So that is actually how you access a, a particular function. So I'm just running this in the shell at the moment, but you can call a function individually. So, you know, I can choose whichever function I want to run. I could do add again, for example, or I could skip straight to cube and then I could do multiply. And as long as I spell it right, it should output the result that I was expecting for each of those functions. And this is a really, really cool idea because it allows you to choose when you want to, your code to be executed without, you know, you don't have to run it sequentially necessarily. You don't have to run it so uh, procedurally or in order, in other words. So that's really, really powerful. 